मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ सुबोध सर दिस इज दिस्ट्री क्लास एंड वी आर कंटिन्यूसली डिसिंग रिगार्डिंग द रशियन रेवोल्यूशन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैड डिस्कस्ड some part of the russian revolution in one video i had told you that in mathematically russian revolution is some total of three main revolution one is 1905 revolution another one was the february revolutions that took place in 1917 and october revolution it took place in the same year but completion is not there then we have to go for the civil war and collectivizations what happened in the february revolution in the february revolutions we have gone through that the monarchy system came to an end in russia Romanov dynasty, which was ruling the Russia, which came to an end, and its place was taken by the provisional government. It means one of the most important changes that had taken place in the Russia. It was the end of the monarchy system. and end of the autocratic monarch it means it has given liberty to the people and during the february revolutions we have already discussed one party the russian social democratic workers party which later came to be known as the communist party of india it was divided into two fraction then in 1912 it was finally divided it and it was divided into two basic groups one was the bolshevik means majority groups another one was the menshevik which was the minority groups majority group was led by the vladimir lenin when the february revolution had taken place the vladimir lenin was in exile he was in switzerland and his political position was not so strong to grab the power after february revolution means end of the monarchy system in russia it proved that lenin returned to russia from switzerland with the help of germans to see the contradiction german and russian peoples were fighting means these two countries were fighting against each other during the first world war Germany and Russia were confront confronting on the eastern front that we have discussed no doubt Russia was later on defeated Lenin from very beginning he was demanding the end of the war he means he should withdraw from the war because war has caused many effect economic effect on the russian society when the lenin returned in april from switzerland he gave the 10 points proposal and this 10 point proposal is known as the april thesis in this april thesis the most important demand the war should come to an end 
the first demand among these 10 if we summarize the three important points which is as a famous as the April thesis that war should come to an end which was he was talking about the first world war then land should be distributed to the cultivators means peasants and bank should be nationalized the three main things that the Lenin had given it was the distribution nationalizations of bank distribution of land among the peasants and why distributions because he had seen socialism cannot come and cannot be fulfilled in Russia till all the pigeons have the land and when we have seen the social structure we have seen that many farmers were landless so he had told once that one has the land another one is landless till these situations occurs we cannot achieve the socialism so it was his proposal he was trying to grab the situation but after the provisional government situation was changing slowly in the favor of Bolsheviks. Bolsheviks were gaining power giving power means gaining more popularity compared to the provisional government at times so it gave the chance the Lenin to grab the power he was expressing the idea of Karl Marx ideology of Karl Marx and it was his opinion that the workers must get themselves liberty from the economy and political control of the ruling powers that means they wanted this economic and political control must be in the hand of the working groups and when people were realizing it people means we are talking about the workers they started supporting and started coming close to the Lenin's Bolshevik party he had also promised that it is only the Bolshevik party who can just solve the problem of shortage of food in the cities and he was being supported by one of his partners and the name of the part partner was Torek Teske Leon Trotsky. Leon Trotsky was the member of provisional Petrograd society, Petrograd Soviet, and also the he can we can say he was the founder of one of the member of Red Army, Red Guards. He was being supported. First, the Lenin tried to grab the political power in the Petrograd. Why so Petrograd? At that time, Petrograd was the capital of Russia. In Petrograd, we had the Winter Palace. It means official residence of the Tsar of Russia. Now, from the February 1917, there was no job, but it was acting as the officials' buildings. So it took some chances. First, it started actually not, not started. Planning was taken on 16 October 1917. This date is according to the Julian calendar. And if you want to know the 
Gregorian calendar, we have to add the 13th in it. And for the 16th October event was there. On the 16th October, in this event, Lenin persuaded the Petrograd Soviet and the Bolshevik for the socialist seizure of the power through the insurrections, through the taking power using the military. By using the military, you were taking the power in their hands, they were agreed. The Red Guards, which was under the Leon Trotsky, a Trotsky was the friend and supporter of the Lenin. This was his work was become easy because he was also the member in the Petrograd Soviet. Then, analyzing the situation on 24th October. 1917 planning was on by sensing the danger the provisional government hit Kerensky he has left the city for to summon the troops why he had to leave the city to summon the troops because Troops were divided into many groups. One who was the supporting the provisional government, means Ja, another one who was not supporting this, we can say it was the Red Guards. Actual events took place on the 25th October. 25th October. These two were the and 25th October, according to the Julian calendar, according to Gregorian calendar, it will be 7th November 1970. 25th October was the starting of the October Revolution. It did not take much time as the February Revolution had many dates. If you can say it happened only on one, one day, it was the 25th October according to the Julian calendar and 7th November according to the Gregorian calendar. So since October revolution is there, so we have to keep in mind the Julian calendar because it had happened according to it. They accepted it up after the revolutions when the Bolshevik came to the power. What happened? Each situation. See, on 21st October morning, at the morning, in the morning itself, the government, pro government military or army, they captured the two of the newspaper. of saving. Why the newspaper? Because today newspaper media has a much important role to play. Today we have both print media as well as the electronic media. But when we are talking, talking about the 1917, almost a little bit more than the 100 years back, at the times, the print media has the more importance and it was being spread. People were understanding and knowing the policies and programs only through the print media. And if print media is captured, the news cannot be spread. And this was the print media newspaper of Bolshevik. It means whatever Bolshevik is activity is being done, it cannot be thrown out into the public because government would not support, government would not publish anything that support the Bolsheviks. The first step of the army was to control these newspapers and those two newspapers, whose it was, it was of the Bolshevik. 
then they try to protect the communication because it was necessary to protect the communications to send the message in the government offices so telegram and telephones were protected because government were sending the message could send the message so main first act of the force means pro ruler force pro provisional government force was to protect the telephone as well as the uh, telegram then they also protected the winter palace they went to protect the winter palace so three works that were being done first they simply captured the two newspaper of the bolsheviks then they protected the telegram and telephones so that the government may spread the news regarding their success and cut down all the information of the bolsheviks and they were also protecting it but as the day passes situation started changing the revolutionary peoples the military commander which was made the red armies they were ordered to sail into the river neva and one of the ship that is called aurora this ship shield started bombing the winter palace to destroy the winter palace other ship also started marching towards it to capture the different offices and arrest the ministers earlier we find that the provisional government's army has started taking the action but in later phase we find the bolshevik ways had the upper hand they attacked and where they attacked they attacked the winter palace the most important palace it was the official residence of the tsar of russia now it was converted into the buildings of the offices of the government so it was bombed so the ship that has went the fleet that went it was the order and by the evening all india russian congress of petrograd confirmed the action of lenin or we can say bolshevik party it means they passed it by the majority and we can say the change has now started the all these things happened on the 25th october according to the julian calendar that's why we say it was the october revolution now what changes had taken place it was the transfer of power of power to whom and to from whom and to whom it was from the provisional government to the bolshevik party it, it means the bolshevik party came into power but we can say it was not unopposed the transfer of power to the bolshevik was opposed by one of his fellows he means menseviks who were the part of the party which was simply divided in 1912 so not only it was the menseviks party other than the menseviks party they were the centrist and the rightist 
rightist and leftist two words comes the right party and left party it has started from the european countries when the king was sitting the ruler was sitting they have the two types of people who will live sitting some on the right side another one on the left side the people who were supporting the rulers were sitting in the right side the people who were opposing the king ruler or government they were sitting in the left side from there this word is in famous and in huge rightist means they have the ideology to support the government and leftist means they oppose the government whatever the policy the government implement no doubt it will be opposed by the leftist it is their main ideology centrist they are both set a little bit support little bit opposes to who we are opposing the transfer of power it was the centrist as well as it was the rightist first as soon as he came to the power lenin came to the power bolshevik came to the power power transfer had taken place then he did land was redistributed land was taken from the nobles and it was given to the peasants means peasants had started grabbing the land some situation had taken place when we were discussing about it when the news of redistribution of land came the people who were in the army they also rushed to the village for the redistribution of land a panic situation has taken place then as he had promised most of the industries and banks were nationalized industries and banks were nationalized as he had promised he was showing it saying it in his actual thesis that banks should be nationalized with the bank he also nationalized the industries the three things that we have got it first transfer of power after the transfer of power what he did he allowed the redistribution of land means taking the land from the nobles and redistributing it to the peasants then the industries and banks were nationalized he did not stop here the big houses of the nobles were re partitioned re divided according to the need of the family if the size of the family is small house is the big then the question was coming what will we do with so big house when it is not in use so the big houses were redistributed and it were given to the needy people then again he did not stop here to show the differences he changed the uniform of the soldiers uniform so the social vision changed to old aristocratic titles it was denounced means it was not allowed old aristocratic titles it was simply denounced and the bolshevik means lenin himself censored the press press was censored he appointed the secret police Among the bad, any deal. OGPU was also on. I any deal. What this secret police was doing? 
these sacred police were arresting and giving punishment to those anyone who were found criticizing the Bolshevik government. In some way we can say he become a little dictator. Even though the army means we are opposing the thought promise that he has did that war should come to close. So he made a treaty with the central power and it was the Brest Litovus Treaty Now it is known as the Brest it is known as the Belarus he made a treaty. In this treaty, he had to suffer a great loss. He means, I am talking about the Russia, although it was signed by the Bolshevik leader Lenin, but he made a promises that war should come to an end, an end of the war, according to him, it would give the chance for the development of the country even though he had to suffer it means he has to see many parts of the Russia which was the agricultural rich and industrial rich area to the central power he also had to raise the German armies which would support the German on the western front And it is said that on the Western Front, the Central Power were also very strong. If the USA had not entered into the war, the scene would have a quite different. It was the USA which changed the future of the Central Power, future of the world also. It was Central Power who was defeated. From the sensing of victory to defeat, so the military officers who were willing to regain the prestige of the Russia, they were very much angry with the Lenin because Lenin had entered into the peace treaty with the central power. When we will discuss just after it that the civil war of the Russia, in the civil war of the Russia, who were the opponent of the Lenin, among one opponent, we will find that it was the military officers. We will also find among the opponent the allied power also, because allied powers were not wishing that Russia should withdraw from the first world war but it was the Lenin in power according to whom that war gives only destruction and we have seen how the first war have given many destruction to the Russia their industry was destroyed the railway was destroyed the economy was destroyed they have to lose many able-bodied the crops were destroyed when the army was returning and it increased the number of refugees. So all these thinking by saying he has signed a treaty, we can say humiliating treaty. Generally we talk about that the treaty that was made, Treaty of Versailles with the Germany and when they claimed that it was a very harsh treaty, then they were he reminded why don't you think the treaty that you have made with the Russia? It was as humiliating, as more dangerous like the Treaty of Versailles that was made by the Central Power. It means in this video till we have got, we have got that the February Revolution, so October Revolution. In October Revolutions, Lenin came to the powers 
and what changes he made he made all the changes that he promised but he was not alone he was being opposed and these oppositions led to the civil war in the next video we will discuss about the civil war thank you go through it Thank you.